Hi everybody and welcome back to another video from Tim's Tech Corner. Today we're going to redo one of the videos that I've done before and that is removing the root check of the Time Warner Cable app. At the time of this video it is December of 2012 so they'll give you a time frame of where we are for this particular app. Right now it's here's my Nexus 7. The app is currently not running has a complaint about the root check, so I'll show you guys. Here's the Time Warner app. And it's loading. We're going to hit Live TV. And see, there you go. There's the message. Unsupported on a root device. So, we're going to go ahead and go through the procedure from top to bottom to go ahead and have this app stop complaining about the root check. So, couple different ways you can start off. You can use the build prop editor in the root toolbox. And that's up here. You can go to root toolbox. This is the pro version of it. And you can go down to advanced. And over here is build prop editor. And you can go to advanced edit. Now the line that you want to look for, this is all in alphabetical order when you do it this way, so the line takes a little bit to get down to. The line that you want to edit right here, RO build tags test keys. That's the line that we're going to edit, but we're not going to do it through Toolbox Pro. We're going to do it through Root Explorer. Great app. Absolutely recommend this app to anybody on a rooted device. So. From the root, you're going to go ahead. Excuse me. You're going to go ahead and go down to system. Right over here is build prop. You're going to hit the mount RW button, which has now mounted the system folder as readable and writable. Hold your finger down on build prop, and you're going to get options, sort of like a right click in Windows. Pick open with. And then go ahead and pick anything that says that it is a text editor. Your mileage will vary depending on what software you have installed. I'm going to minimize the keyboard for now. And it might be a little bit blurry to see, but there is a line over here. ro.build.tags equals test keys. Now again, mileage may vary depending on how the ROM manufacturer has created the ROM. It might say build keys or it might say test keys. The idea is for it to say nothing. So we're going to go ahead. If it's going to let me do it. We're going to go ahead and blank out the line. So, ro.build.tags equals, and then it ends. And actually, I'm going to back it out quick, because I think I might have... Uh, no, I don't want to. I think I might have accidentally deleted one other thing. So, okay, gonna go ahead and try to get my arrow by test keys. And we're gonna blank it out. So, ro.build.tags equals nothing. You go over to the menu and you pick save and exit. Still leaving this as read and write from the system folder you are going to go into the app folder. Now a little bit of history here, or a little bit of information. This is all of the system files that your ROM is using. Mostly it's the built-in Android ones, but when you're building a ROM, you can of course inject uh, into the zip file. You can inject any apps into the system folder, and when you install the ROM, it will go ahead and put them here. Now, superuser.apk, you see it over there? You're going to hold your finger on it, you're going to get the menu, and you're going to pick rename. You're going to go ahead and not hit cancel. You're going to whack out a 
everything after SU. So you're going to wind up ending up with SU dot APK. And it says rename is successful. You'll see that says SU dot APK instead of super user. Go ahead and set yourself back to read only for the mount and back out of the Explorer. So now we've taken care of the two things that denote you have a rooted device, super user and the build tag. So now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to hold my power button down and I'm going to hit reboot and I'm going to do a regular reboot. And we'll be able to show you that the Time Warner app is working. In my previous video, it was already working and I was bringing people through an already fixed device. For this one, you can see that it was a, it was not working. So I want to prove that this works. This is a Nexus 7 and it's running a Jelly Bean ROM. I have never had the Time Warner app working on this device yet. I've just seen a lot of people have some issues on it next DA. They'll say it comes up to the black screen or uh, video can't be displayed at this time or channel can't be displayed at this time. So I wanted to redo the first video, which had a little bit muffled audio, and um, basically do it again, kind of show you guys what's up. All right, so I'm going to pick the Apex Launcher. All right, and here we are back to my nifty little home screen, the Aquarium Live Wallpaper. And I'm just letting the device come set and load everything up. Alright, while it's connecting a few things, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to the app drawer and I'm going to go over to settings. And I'm going to go down to the developer options. Over here under developer options, I'm going to make sure Android debugging is not checked. There's another thing that the Time Warner app does not like. And I know why. It's basically if you have a device that has HDMI out, you kind of don't want you putting the HDMI video on screen. So, okay. The Time Warner app is right over here. Loading, live TV, loading the channel lineup. Look at that. A and E. I'll, I'll go ahead and pick a different channel here. Show you how smooth the scroll is. Uh, Clue. No, okay, well, let's see. Yeah, all right. This has happened to a few people. They've mentioned that they got this where it'll say that it can't just it plays for a few seconds and it can't display a channel. So we're gonna back all the way out. We're gonna see if alright, the device has loaded everything up. And we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a four stop and we'll try it again. Now that could be because it is jelly bean, although it shouldn't. Uh, I do believe I've got it working on Jelly Bean devices. Nothing particularly unusual running. Alright, so we're going to go over to the Time Warner app. Should be under download. There it is. Okay. We're going to force stop it. We're not going to clear the data. We'll just clear the cache. We're going to get rid of it in the recent app drawer. And we'll go back to Time Warner. Loading up live TV. And it's trying to get into Clue. And there you go. So, this is the problem some people are running into where um, 
it loads the video and then it stops and gets this particular error message. Um, it seems to be from the people that have read an XDA, it happens when it kicks over into HD. That I don't have an answer to at this time. I believe it depends on the ROM. Certain ROMs do it, certain ones don't. You're more likely to run into it for Jelly Bean than you are for Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, some idiot Time Warner techs have stated that the app is not going to run on Jelly Bean yet, and the support for it is, is coming. But as you can see, it went from complaining about the root check to actually displaying the video. And that, of course, is what I'm looking for in this. And uh, just basically trying to get back to the root community. XDA is, is helping me out a ton in rooting my devices. And... Um, Nexus 7 root came from there. Nexus 7 is easy as hell to root if you've got a Nexus 7. I think you're stupid if you don't root it. It's it's like a one-click root from your PC. And, I mean, the device is amazing. It's a, it's a shame if you let it go to waste by not having it rooted. So there you go. I'll load up uh, the default launcher here real quick so you get a comparison. This is what the default launcher on the ROM will look like. I don't like dock style stuff on my tablet. That's okay for a phone, but um, I like dockless launchers on a tablet. Dock seems stupid on a tablet. So there you go. We got it to stop complaining about the root check. And unfortunately, I ran into the same error that some people have run into with it complaining about uh, not being able to display the channel. Don't really know what the issue is. Some people said it's flash. I don't know. But there you go. Hope I was able to help you out. And if you had some problems with the sound being muffled in the first video or wanted to actually see one go through from not working to working, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. And coming up on Tim's Tech Corner, we'll probably go through a Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. The 7 inch, the GTP 3113 next, and um, then move on from there either to a Toshiba Excite, maybe a Sony Tablet S, or the LG uh, G Slate, the one with the 3D cameras and the 3D display. Remains to be seen where I'm going to go uh, from here. So I hope this video helps out. If you got any questions, ask in the comments, and I'll be happy to help out. Thanks a lot, and take care.